the concept of decentralization and how it applies to cryptocurrency. The term decentralization is used to describe the process by which power and decision making authority is moved from a centralized entity, an individual, organization, or group of these entities, to a distributed network in the context of blockchain technology. Participants in a decentralized network are required to have a lower level of trust in one another, and decentralized networks seek to limit their ability to exercise authority or control over one another in a manner that would hurt the network's overall performance. Why Decentralization Matters The idea of decentralization is not a recent one. When developing a technological solution, developers will often take into consideration one of three basic network architectures, centralized, distributed, or decentralized. While distributed ledger technologies frequently make use of decentralized networks, a blockchain application cannot simply be classified as either being decentralized or not being decentralized by itself. Instead, decentralization is more of a sliding scale that should be applied to all areas of an application that uses blockchain technology. Greater and more equitable service can be accomplished by decentralizing the administration of an application's resources as well as access to those resources. There are often certain drawbacks associated with decentralization, such as a reduced transaction throughput. But, in an ideal world, these drawbacks are more than compensated for by the increased stability and service levels that result from decentralization. The upsides to a decentralized system provides a trustless environment. Because it is decentralized, a blockchain network does not require its participants to know or trust one another. In the form of a distributed ledger, each participant in the network possesses an identical copy of the data that is being tracked. If the ledger of a member is in any way changed or corrupted, it will be rejected by the majority of the other members in the network. Improves Data Reconciliation Data is frequently traded between companies and their business partners. This data is then often modified before being stored in the data silos of each party until the time comes when it needs to be transferred downstream. When the data is modified in any way, it increases the likelihood that some of the data will be lost, and it also increases the likelihood that some of the data will be inaccurate. Every entity now has access to a real time view of the data that is shared by everyone else because the data storage has been decentralized. Reduces potential sites of failure. Decentralization can help eliminate areas of weakness in systems, particularly those in which there may be an excessive amount of dependence on certain players. These points of vulnerability could result in failures across the system, such as a failure to provide promised services or inefficient service as a result of depleted resources, recurrent outages, bottlenecks, insufficient incentives for good service, or corruption. Optimizes resource distribution. Decentralization can also help to optimize the distribution of resources, which ensures that the promised services are delivered with increased levels of performance and consistency while simultaneously lowering the risk of catastrophic failure. How Decentralization Compares When it is appropriate to do so, decentralization should be implemented. A blockchain application doesn't need to be completely decentralized simply because it is a blockchain application. Any blockchain solution should have as its primary objective, the delivery of whatever it is that the consumers of that solution requirements, and this may or may not involve certain degrees of decentralization. The following table compares decentralized networks to two other types of networks that are more common, distributed networks and centralized networks. Reading this table can help you understand decentralized networks better. The Benefits of a Decentralized System Let's take a look at some of the most significant benefits that come along with decentralizing your monetary system. Control and decision, making are handled independently. Maintaining your autonomy over decision, making and control can be accomplished through decentralization. Your system is not reliant on the honesty of any one particular authority to determine its course of action or its future. If even a single authority figure is tainted with corruption, suffers damage, or is compromised, the integrity of the entire organization is at risk. However, a system that is devoid of any authority that may be compromised, can preserve greater levels of protection and independence. Trustless Relationships The foundation of the cryptocurrency market is a decentralized network in which no one can be trusted. 
you don't have to put your faith in a single device to know that it has accurately verified a transaction. Rather, you may put your faith in the collective intelligence of thousands or millions of devices that are working together to keep each other honest. There is no way that a single malicious actor could ever breach this system. Better Data Dependability In a traditional monetary system, the dependability of the data is in doubt, because each stage of the process that involves the storage and exchange of data opens the door to the potential for fraud, corruption, and deterioration. For instance, when one corporation transfers data to another, the recipient organization will normally save the information in a data silo. In addition, it does not appear unless someone needs to transfer it. Distributed networks, on the other hand, can maintain higher levels of data integrity and openness. Fewer weaknesses. Decentralization results in vulnerabilities being spread out in more places, which in turn results in fewer overall vulnerabilities. As was mentioned in an earlier point, the trustless connection system that is inherent in the majority of cryptocurrencies eliminates the possibility of a single malicious actor forging a transaction and corrupting the system. Instead, to gain influence over the system, more than 50% of the nodes in the network would need to cooperate unanimously. This option decreases in likelihood as the size of the system increases. Additionally, possible dangers are reduced because of the distributed network concept. This is because even if an adversary is successful in posing a danger to or ultimately compromising a single node inside that network, it would not put the entire system in jeopardy. Resource Distribution Enhancements The distribution of information has the potential to result in an improvement in the system's resource allocation. Distributed networks can activate nodes on an as-needed basis, which results in the most consistent performance. However, as we will see in the following section, the performance of distributed blockchains also suffers due to the interactions that occur inside themselves. Financial Independence the allure of complete financial autonomy is another factor that attracts people. Because of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, people don't necessarily need to go through a bank to finance a significant purchase, and they also don't need to produce an audit trail that invades their privacy to do so. Both of these requirements used to be necessary. The participants in the network are afforded a much increased degree of autonomy in decision making. The possibility of rivalry or conflict Decentralization also increases the number of opportunities for monetary competitiveness. It is extremely difficult to establish a new financial institution in today's modern economy. Such as a bank, that can compete effectively with established players or offer superior products and services to end users. On the other hand, the realm of decentralized digital currency is similar to the American frontier. Try to sway the opinions of investors who are wary of centralized authorities. Investors who are interested in freeing themselves from the sway of centralized authority are attracted to the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. In the current iteration of our monetary system, it is extremely difficult to circumvent centralized agencies. For instance, in the most recent few years, people have had a lot of negative things to say about the Federal Reserve System. This is because it was making problematic decisions on the adjustment of interest rates, quantitative easing, and general monetary policy in general. In the same vein, if you are a resident of the United States, you simply cannot avoid being subject to the Federal Reserve System's sway over the economy. Investors now can avoid participating in the centralized financial system thanks to cryptocurrencies. How was the video do you like it? Post your precious feedback in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.